humiliation, this humiliation, <laughs> and all the other stuff, right? But we do it for the people. And that's one thing that Devin had done, and he's going to show you in less than 72 hours or better, right? Why he's the number one best fighter on the planet, and he wants all the smoke. Now, Coach, you asked Coach Tobler if they were coming to box or coming to fight. I'll pose the same question to you. Are you guys coming to box or are you coming to fight? Listen. The man gonna get knocked out, man. The man gonna get knocked out. Listen, listen the man gonna get knocked out. Yeah. The man gonna get knocked out, man. You know what I'm saying? The man been around here playing. He been talking. You know what I'm saying? I see he don't got no game plan. I don't see. I see it's not no confidence over there. So guess what? We gonna go get him then. Are we expecting the Devin Haney yeah. to sit down on his punches and at points in the fight be in the pocket? Regis, don't Regis. run like a bitch. Let's go. How does Devin feel like this new weight? Huh? How does Devin feel like this new weight? Uh, well, we have yet to see, right? We have yet to see, but right now, I mean, we landed what we call the plane. You know, we see the runway, you know what I mean? And we expect a, a beautiful landing, and then we're going to jump back in the clouds. How does it feel like to bring a fight out to the Bay Area? Uh, it's, mar stuff? it's marvelous, it's marvelous. Um, you know, it, the air, you know, everything gives me that, that same energy <laughs> for when I'm here. But at the same time, we're on a, we're on a different assignment, an assignment that's serious. Um, um, Regis Pro Gray is nothing to play with. He's knocked out uh, 20 something people. Uh, so, 24 people, you know what I mean? So, um, when you talk about delivering a great fight, you can deliver the fight, but then you, you have to go out and execute it. Bill, can you talk about uh, Devin, where he's at with his power? It's 140 now. Obviously, that's been talked before that maybe Devin's power is lacking a bit. Has that been a focus to this training camp? Well, no, that's, that, like I said, that's yet to be determined. The power, of course, um, we have. Um, Devin is the best skilled fighter in boxing. I, I'll, I'll say that over and over again. Um, but the thing about it is, uh, uh, is we have now a five-pound cushion that uh, we can land uh, uh, safely, uh, different than than at the 135 pounds. But as far as um, um, looking for another skill set or looking for something different uh, to handle Mr. Progre, I think Devin has enough in his arsenal, enough in the tool shed. What age, did you, what age did you realize your son was special in his sport? Um, special in the sport, uh, it was very, it was, it was various uh, monuments um, that 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 Devin uh, accomplished, and it was one after another. Um, you know, I mean, coming to mind the infamous uh, sparring session with Floyd. You know what I mean? Where where Floyd didn't touch him. You know what I mean? And I like to say that you know when when the torch was passed, uh, I knew then. Um, when he also, uh, you know, new one was. Uh, of course, going over to Australia without me, you know what I mean? So he can, continues to impress me. Uh, you know what I mean? I can go all the way back to his first fight or his first time in the gym. Uh, but, but I'm really proud of Dev, and uh, I'm just happy to uh, be representing him uh, in, in DHP. And by that way, we got Shamar the Boss Canal just coming in. He's, he's an undefeated fighter, making his uh, first appearance here in uh, California. Um, and also we got Amari Jones, who will be the first fight uh, before uh, the TV uh, before the TV fights, um, we're expecting some great things out of both of them, two undefeated fighters, and uh, you know the sky's the limit, future world champions. Bill, how much credence um, should we go ahead and, and give to you know this thought that uh, you know Devin is going to have a hard time with Regis's power? Uh, do you think that Regis is going to be able to overcome some of the the talk about him, his movement, being able to get to Devin? What's your thought on all that? Um, you know what. Uh, Devin has the best feet in boxing, and you know what I mean? And it's educated feet. It's not a half step back. It's not, you know what I mean? He, do, he does it all, you know what I mean? Um, so I, I think that, that we're uh, overmatched from a skill set standpoint. Um, you know, a lot of the chatter and the banner, um, you know, we want Mr. Regis Progre to stand on, stand on business. Um, you know what I mean? And we're going to see if he's the fighter that he is or he's really the bitch. And that, just that, wait, 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 excuse me. That he called us, if you guys remember. Do you not say them Haney's is bitches? Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying is, listen, ain't no bitch in us. And if you felt like that or if you feel like that, then come to fight. Don't come bullshitting. Come to fight or everybody going to know who the bitch is. So, Bill, so for this fight, for the, um, the people that's been you know, helping Dave and sparring and everything, have you, been, have you been fighting with guys with heavier hands for this fight? Um, you know what I mean? Heavier heavier faster um you know what i mean that part of it you know is it's whatever it is you know what i'm saying um, um we've been trying to bring in the best guys uh for them we didn't weigh their hands up you know what i'm saying but we know i i understand i, I know what you're saying in terms of of that but certain fighters to answer your question certain fighters have heavy hands when they're set and they're ready to punch you know what i mean so 
um, you know, it, it's all it's all relative. You know what I mean? Um, we haven't brought anyone um, specifically that was different than the Lomachenko camp, so to speak. You know what I mean? To answer the question. Uh, and, and what my brother's asking is uh, the acclimation to the power of the fighters at 140. Do you feel like it's come full circle in that Devin Haney is now? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. I, well, absolutely, bro. If you from from that perspective. We brought in 147 pounders first bringing in 140 and 135 pounders to do it but but from a perspective of the skill set so you're absolutely right we went up a weight class uh you know what i mean and we were actually looking for 54s as well you know what i mean so was that acclimate? i spent uh -huh. i'm Go sorry to cut you but was that was there and was there a process to that acclimation was there a need for a process for the acclimation or no i'm just no 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 i just i just think that you know um of course what they've what they've said is uh traditionally the lighter fighters um tend to have more speed you know what i mean and and like like the brother that said is the the, the uh the fighters in the bigger weight weight classes tend to have a lot, lot more power so um yeah to answer that question yeah we did make a making an adjustment by bringing in some 47s and, and then even looking at some 54s so that's a really good segue you know just switching gears here a little bit how much should we pay or be paying attention or, or how much credence should we give to these reports about Devin possibly going to 147 um very much so that's the next weight class up so I mean like we were at 35 uh, we looked up to looked up at, at 40 as possible possibilities now uh, uh, inshallah that we're victorious um, on December the 9th of course that's the next weight division up can you talk about the timing a little bit? I mean, there's a really big fight at 140 with Regis, and obviously this report came out that 147 is, is down the line for Devin, but why now? Um, you know what? Uh, his body has matured. Um, I think that what we what we did at um, at 135 was historic. Um, it hadn't been done uh, ever in the Fort Bell era, and the last uh, undisputed champ was uh, Pernero Whitaker. So uh, that was great company. That was something that... Um, you know, it was his first weight class. It was a, it was a goal. Um, so now, you know, I mean, he's climbing. You know, uh, if uh, being a three division champ means something to him, or being a unified champ, uh, ultimately at the end of the at the end, Devin will make the uh, make that choice. What were your takeaways from the Lomachenko fight? Did you guys learn anything?